Hello and thank you for joining us and off the press on Plus TV Africa's The Breakfast. My name remains Felicity Ezewike. It's time for us to look at the papers with the help of our guest. Today we have the publisher of CKN News, Chris Wandu. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, was there traffic on your way here or uh, not really, it was not easy really. for the, you? No, the Todd Menland Bridge was relatively free. Oh. And, um, you know, on th Tuesdays, Thursdays, um, the traffic is a bit free. That's uh, another free new Vegas. normal for us. Yes, uh, it is. Traffic yes. with the third million yes, yes. repairs. Yes. Do you think they're going to actually finish in the time frame given? I hope they will, um, because the time frame is end of December, early January. So I just hope that they'll be able to do it. But serious work is going on there, so I hope they'll be able to finish it. All right, so let's get way. right to it. The Punch newspaper is what we'll start with this morning. Uh, the big one here is... Uh, FG won't be able to service rising debts fund budget. That's a man and others. That's 6.1% shrinking of the economy. That was the uh, shocker yesterday for a lot of people. Even if you don't understand what uh, financing and the economy, uh, you just, oh, what's going on? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, it has a couple of riders to it. Uh, things are tough for average consumer inflation going up that's manufacturers talking uh, tackle rising inflation unemployment says lagos chamber of industry and channel forex into productive sectors reduced leakages NECA advises fg at the top of the paper you see uh, the issue of uh, pension accounts job loss um, uh, losers withdraw a hundred and sixteen point eight seven billion naira from pension accounts. That's uh, over three hundred and thirty-one thousand uh, job uh, uh, losses, um, according to that. Um, Eight hundred and fifty um, million. Uh, let me see if I'm getting that right. Um, Eight hundred. 8,500 um, million Chinese loan already approved. Probe unnecessary. That's uh, Rep speaking. 8,500 million Chinese loan. Igbo unions condemn Enugu killings. Drivers protest members' debt. International passengers who evade Nigerian test face travel ban. That's um, the big one after PTF briefing uh, from yesterday. Uh, before we go to look at other headlines, of course, there's that picture, very intriguing picture on the front page, all white um, applicants uh, during the Nigerian police uh, recruitment on the front page. We're going to talk about that. I, I, I see you smiling already, but let's look at the 6.1% shrinking of the economy and the fallout headline for... Yes, um, expectedly. Um, I'm not surprised. I wasn't shocked if what that's where. Um, they were already having issues with our economy uh, prior to COVID-19. And uh, COVID-19 came and everything crashed. So uh, we're doing well, uh, especially for an economy that is mono-dependent on oil um, as a major uh, means of um, the um, foreign exchange. So if anything happened, immediately COVID-19 came, everything came down. And uh, you could realize that, uh, you realize that uh, the prices of um, crude oil or oil came down as little as about $13 and up to something. In fact, at a point it got to zero. Um, so uh, then with a the shaky economy as we had, so the report coming out wasn't too surprising. Um, but the, surprise, the only aspect is that how long are we going to sustain this and how long is this going to stay? Um, um, even in European countries, some of them are going to recession already. So many advanced countries in the world have gone into recession. And I'm seeing us going to recession. Definitely, we are going to recession. Well, I think I think we're already in recession. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I, I, I just I want to, I want to sort it. <laughs> I just wanted to just subtly put it so that I don't. Yeah. But we're already in recession. We are in recession. Yes. So uh, it's expected how we get out of it is going to be the challenge. It is my belief that the COVID-19 will just come and go, and uh, we'll be able to worldwide we'll be able to get a vaccine for this, and the people go back to their lives, and we we'll pick up. And it's going to take us, for me, it's going to take us not less than another two years for us to go. Get back to where we were prior to COVID-19. So 
Um, unemployment um, ratio is rising so much in Nigeria now. People are losing some, have lost their jobs, and many are still going to lose their jobs because of this. Companies are finding it very difficult to pay. Some companies are owing as much as six months, ten months, twelve months. And the uh, alternative for them is should they allow the workers to go or they continue? Why not? So it's a big challenge, and uh, we are not doing well. Do, do you do you um, have a lot of trust in government's commitment to? Um, pull us out of the situation. It's not peculiar to us. Um, some people would say um, there is every likelihood that uh, the generalization that comes with the pandemic mm -hmm. might affect, uh, might affect uh, uh, government responses. They will hide under that excuse and not do a lot of things. But uh, do you see that happening with the crop of uh, people managing the economy right now? Um, I, I want to be a, a, an optimist. Although I'm very pessimistic about, <laughs> about that. <laughs> but as a true Nigeria, let me be patriotic and say, yes, we we'll should be able to do that. But do we have the right people? Yes, we have the right people. Do we have them in government? That probably not. I don't think so. We have more politicians rather than technocrats um, taking care of our uh, various uh, economic and political life in Nigeria. So most often than not, the right people don't get to get the, uh, the, you know, um, get the opportunity to be able to serve. We have people that can pull us out of this. Um, it's already happening in the banking sector. It's happening in so many sectors where Nigerians are, are making, uh, doing very well. Don't forget that the president of the uh, African um, AFDB is a Nigerian. And, yeah. um, that uh, that yes, one was a battle. It was a we battle. Fought for, and, yes, we <laughs> and we won. So, uh, and we have so many Nigerians across the globe. World Bank, name it, doing very, very well. Uh, in the United States, in UK, and other parts of the world. And I think that we can be able to. We, we, uh, that is where I like somebody like um, uh, former President Ulysses uh, Gorbassanjo, you know, as much as some people still have their reservation about him. But he had, he was someone, as well as doing his second term, uh, that decided that I'm going to use more technicals than politicians. In my, and he brought a lot of uh, Nigerians, especially those that know what the economy is all about. And they came and they dealt with it. And uh, we, don't forget also, he helped us by paying off all, all the foreign debts. And, uh, but with what we have now, you, you, the, as of the last time, you need to see what we, we are owing. And practically, we are spending everything we have to even to pay the interest of the foreign loan, not the loans itself. That is the issue we are having now. The last time I, 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 I read, it's over one trillion um, naira. And um, that's where we're at the end of it all. How much are we making? So it's a big problem, but I and, believe and, that. And, and, and there's this fear about, um, you know, continuance, uh, government, you know, continuing where the others stopped, yes, yes. you know. Yes, uh, it's true. Um, but um, to some extent, I'll give it to this government, to a large extent. Um, not in terms of policy, following, continue with it. Some of the policies that have, let, let's look at the transport uh, sector and uh, what is happening in the uh, transport sector. Most of the, what, the services that this current government is having uh, in the transport sector, especially in the rail, was um, something that was started by the good Lord Jonathan administration. And uh, when this government came, they continued, they didn't jettison it, unlike others before it, they would have jettisoned, but they continued. And we're ha having some successes now. Also in the aviation um, sector, the various airports being built and the rest of them were started by, by good Lord Jonathan. As a, so that is what it's supposed to be. Government is a continuum, irrespective Indeed. of whether it's APC, DPD, or whatever, and the rest there of them. There must be some that must, continuance. Definitely, definitely. Uh, okay, just a quick correction, uh, please. Even with my four eyes, I had issues uh, getting that um, uh, number accurately. That's 500 million dollars. Chinese Chinese loan, loan. Uh, 500, 500 million dollars Chinese, Chinese loan, loan. Yes. Um, already approved probe unnecessary that's the house of representative i do um uh crave your indulgence yes. uh, thank you very much that was um uh, quite a notable and, and, and uh, that's where we should be going um that you know it has been so much controversy surrounding the, the chinese loan um sovereignty or no sovereignty clause we are handing our um life to chinese and rest of them the probe came in and the um minister of transportation um amici came up to say that let us collect these loans and we cannot talk about the the contract and the rest no, of. No, but them. you just said yourself that we have a lot of debt. Th that Do is where that more? is where I was going. Um, I, I totally I didn't agree with the um, with the minister on that uh, because you come to the, it's not just the loan. It's wanted to collect a loan and also be able to know that the contractual agreement because you come to see that even the little things that you buy online, 
those contract part of it are always listening very, very tiny letters that you don't get to read. You would have clicked and it has gone. It's only when you start having issues that you say, oh, yeah, of course, you did, did you read? The, the? So that is the problem. Um, uh, but unfortunately, the House of Reps have stopped the probe. Uh, of the probe, they, they, they wind up without give us, giving us a, um, uh, their own uh, decision on it and the rest of them. And now we are hearing that the loans have been um, collected. But I All hope right. that it will be used for the writing. All right, let's, let's see if we can manage this time properly. We're still on the Punch newspaper. I'll just take a look at the uh, police recruitment. Your quick thoughts on that, and then I'll run through some of the headlines and move on to the next paper. Yes, I was listening to the... I was watching the uh, former immediate past. I think it was immediate past uh, Inspector General of Police um, on one of the channel, uh, TV channels a few days ago, and he was saying, telling, saying the number, the inadequacy in the number of policemen we have, close to about 350,000 to 400,000 policemen, uh, policing over 200 million people that they are, we are really under um, policed and so I feel that we need to recruit more uh, but some of us still believe that uh, we should also the state police is the way to go and uh, so that we can be able to have enough people to be able to so uh, policing should be more of a grassroots team for me rather than, right. than a national team and that is where we are getting it wrong presently. All right, I'm trying to see if we could squeeze in uh, a lot more uh, papers. Um, Assembly probes uh, Lagos, three uh, missing helicopters, summon officials. Uh, that's another one on the front page of the Punch newspaper. There's a re-echo of the Unilag Senate uh, thing, so I'll just move on to the next paper and capture it there. The Nation uh, newspaper has the Unilag uh, Senate uh, situation. Uh, they have a new VC. Yeah. Unilag Senate Peaks Acting VC. Um, registrar fails to uh, stop acting. Uh, that's a bit uh, fuzzy. We'll just leave it at Unilag Senate Peaks Acting VC. I will overcome COVID-19, says Abayomi. That's Commissioner for Health in Lagos State. We're all praying for him, and we are very optimistic that he will uh, come out on top. He's um, a much respected uh, professional uh, in this fight against COVID-19. And the big one here is UN to Buhari joined dialogue with force to end insecurity. Uh, I'll just uh, leave you to take a look at the rider. Um, Edo Ondo 2020, some development there for you to uh, capture. Christian leaders endorse Ize Yamu. Um, we also have PDP six Kekemeke's arrest over violence threats. Um, I actually watched a conversation about that uh, yesterday, but let's uh, come to you. Oh, uh, before we do that, let's look at Mali. Transition government talks stalled. CBM moves against Forex over invoicing. Uh, take your pick. Um, let's start with Unilag. Um, yesterday, it's, there seems to be light at the end of the tunnel. Um, Unilag, for the first time, is getting a, a female, female vice, as, chancellor, as, chancellor, vice chancellor of the ladies. Yes, she was a former provost of the College of Medicine and the former DVC of the university. And she won. If you look at the votes that were the votes, um, two, two of them were put forward, and the woman had over 80 percent or 90 percent of the votes. So it goes to show that um, the university community is solidly behind it. And the news coming in this morning um, is that um, um, the the president of the Unilag Alumni Association, who is also the chairman of Channels TV, has been appointed as interim chairman of the governing council of Unilag. Um, so. It seems that um, th that is a roadmap um, to peace in Unilag. Pending the time the investigating panel, which has been set up by the federal government, will come up with um, its re um, reports, then the federal government will not decide finally. Um, let's go to Edo. And, um, um, I will look at the endorsement. Um, of religions, I think our religious leaders will just start getting their priorities right. Um, as religious, I'm seeing now Christians, um, leaders endorsing one particular candidate. Fortunately enough, the second candidate is also a Christian. Are you not saying that the other candidate doesn't need endorsement also? Don't also forget that in your churches, people of different political parties come to your church. If you understand what I'm All saying. All right, just a, just a quick interruption. I'm sorry to cut your flow. We'll go on a very short break, and when we come back, we'll continue to hear from Mr. Chris and Wandu. Do stay with us.